On the 6th of June, we left Isle for a short trip to Craig House on Jura. We had a pleasant sail across the bay and outside the off-lying rocks. We had a fetch down the coast in about a force three, but as we crossed the sound of Islay the wind came funneling down it at about force six. Once clear of the sound, the wind dropped to nothing and we had to motor in. The bottom looked a bit weedy for anchoring, so we picked up a visitor's buoy. Unfortunately, this turned out to be the only place we visited to actually charge for using a buoy. That wouldn't be so bad, but they used a big inter-island diesel rib to come and collect the fees, and left a big black stripe down the side of the boat. The cloud eventually cleared from the top of the Paps of Jura in the evening. The next morning we went ashore to get provisions and to access the internet at the local cafe. The fog looked like thickening so we took a hand bearing compass ashore, just in case we needed it to find the boat. Although we left with the radar going, the fog gradually cleared to give another glorious day, but little wind. We tried to anchor in an inlet off Karseg Bay, but failed miserably. There were small patches of sand amid the weed but we could not get the anchor to dig in before it started reaping a harvest of kelp. We gave up and motored on to Crinan. The entrance to the canal is just to the left of the conspicuous hotel. We picked up a mooring in the harbour. The moorings are controlled by the boatyard. We went ashore to pay for a couple of nights and ordered two bikes for the next day.
This was our first evening in Scotland when it was just about warm enough to sit in the cockpit and watch the sun go down. You have to get me in the socks as well as the sandals. It was getting close to the longest day and this picture was taken at 11 in 36 in the evening. <laughs> 